What's up, fragrant world? Ooh, that's a good clap. <laughs> what is up, fragrant world? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. My name is JC. On this channel, Stay Fresh Productions, we talk about everything fragrance related. If you like that kind of content, then please stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss an upload, and like this video so I and YouTube both know that you like this kind of content so it will continue to come to your subscription feed. So, today we're talking about summer. Now, we've talked about summer more than a few times over the course of the season in terms of summer fragrances. And I gave you my top list. We talked about designer, we talked about niche, I gave you my daytime, you know, easy to wear stuff. I gave you my summer night fragrances, all that. We've talked about it a lot. We're nearing the end of summer, which I am so excited about. We have about another month or so until fall hits, and that cannot come any sooner if you're asking me. Today I wanted to bring you a little list of some fragrances that you probably don't really seem talked about very much. We can call them summer hidden gems whatever you want to call them. In fact, that's probably what we'll call them for the video. These are fragrances, once again, you don't see them talked about a lot. I wanted to shed some light on them. Some of them are fairly inexpensive. Some of them are more on the pricier side from designer to indie to niche to whatever you want to call it all. We have a big variety here. And without much further ado, let's dive right into it. So here at the first, let's say number six, these are ranked in order in terms of my taste and several other things. Here at number six, this was sent to me a while back. I did feature it in a video. I mean, this was months ago and I only talked about it one time. I honestly wasn't blown away by it, but I decided to revisit it recently. It's like, let me give it another spray. I haven't smelled it in literally at least six months, sprayed it on. And there's something about it I found charming. It's a very simple woody aquatic. There's something smooth about it though. It, it does come off a little bit designery, but it is decent quality. It's a very calming scent. And this comes from a fragrance brand, an indie fragrance brand based out of California. They're called Alchemy. And this is one that they have called Aqua. Simply called Aqua. Okay, so simple presentation you know, relatively stock bottle design, kind of a faux wooden cap. We're gonna give it a spray. I had was wearing this earlier, just testing it out, just to remind myself, but I'll put it here. Yeah, it's like a lemony fresh, you know, maybe some bergamot in here as well. Kind of almost sea salty, aquatic with a nice woody backbone, very fresh, actually quite strong. This has good performance for a fresh aquatic scent. It's very uplifting. It smells really, really good. <laughs> it's perfect for the heat. And again, I'm pretty sure you probably haven't seen this one floating around. They got some good stuff. They, I have a few of their fragrances. They're pretty simple. They're not gonna blow your mind, trust me. But they are very pleasant. They believe a lot in the vibrations of scent and how it connects with your own vibrations. So the certain ingredients that go into this are carefully chosen so that they affect your vibration in a particular way. Now you can subscribe to that or not. It doesn't matter, but either way, it smells great. And Alchemy is hooking it up for you guys. I will have a link down below where you can check out their fragrances and you can use the code Alchemy20 through I think September 21st. That code will get you 20% off their fragrances. So check them out. This is good stuff. It's a pleasant woody aquatic if you're looking for that something a little different outside of your mainstream, then check this out. Again, that's Alchemy Aqua. Now I know I'm sitting here looking like a traffic cone, <laughs> but I gotta say, I love this shirt. This does come from Into the AM, who I am an ambassador for, for their clothing. They have some great inexpensive shirts, but good quality, they fit well. I think they got 12 different colors for the t-shirts. They got long sleeves. They got some other stuff I'll be showing you later on as we get closer to the fall. I have a link down below if you want to check it out. I'll get you 10% off. You can bundle three shirts for 40 bucks. That's all I'm going to say, but I'm loving their stuff. I have several of their shirts. They're beautiful, easy to wear. They get compliments and come fall, they're easy to layer. So they are pretty versatile as well. So I'll link them down below. And just so you know, I do get a little bit of kickback every time you make a purchase. It's at no extra cost to you. So if you want to support me and the channel, then please check out Into the AM. Next one up, 
This comes from the House of Parfums Vintage. I'm gonna show you the bottle and my only gripe is that I'm showing you this bottle and you have no idea what the fragrance is because the bottle doesn't tell you anything. You have to look at the bottom. That's my only gripe. They used to have a little bit more labeling with their fragrances. They kind of got rid of that. I'm not sure why. You now have to look at the bottom and you're gonna see, hopefully, that this is Rush of Unicorns Intense. Okay, so this is a flanker to their acclaimed Rush of Unicorns, which came out a couple years ago. And it is intended to be a in fact, I did talk about this one, I think, recently in my Tropical Fragrances video, if I'm not mistaken. This is intended to be a bit of a clone on Millicene Imperial from Creed, but they've improved the performance. The one thing that Millicene Imperial has always struggled with, they made it stronger, they bumped up the musks. I gotta say, it reminds me of Millicene Imperial, but mostly because they told me that's what it's supposed to replicate. Other than that, if I had to put a percentage to it, which is always hard to do, it's very subjective. This thing is like 60 to 70% similar. It's really not all that similar to my nose, but it's still very pleasant. It's super high quality. It's fresh, aquatic, kind of salty. It has that beautiful fruity nuance that is like at the core of the scent and it is quite musky. And there's some citruses in here that brighten it up. It's great and it's also potent. This is a thick, fragrance it's a thick fresh fragrance something that you can wear in the heat and you'll know that it's going to last which is wonderful so that is rush of unicorns intense again i'll link them down below if you want to check it out okay up next this one this is not a special fragrance to me i do find it really pleasant and the one thing i do appreciate about it First of all, I love the bottle. I love the color of the juice, which I'll show you here in a second. And I love that it is an alternative to an already pretty cheap fragrance, but it's even cheaper than that, if you can imagine. This is from the house of Antonio Banderas, famous actor. And this is one that you've seen Andrea from Curly Sense talk about a lot if you've been watching her channel. This is called Blue Seduction. I just love this rich blue color. And this is a fruity aquatic. It's a simple fruity aquatic, melon, sea salt, maybe some citruses, maybe some other fruits, I'm not sure, but definitely like cantaloupe kind of melon or honeydew. It does smell really pleasant. It's easy to like. It's fresh, again, sweet, fruity, aquatic, something to wear during the daytime, casually. Terrible performance, I might get four or five hours. This is actually very similar to Versace Mano Fresh, which I have never owned and I've never really been crazy about, to be honest. But actually, I like this more. I don't love it. I like it a little bit more than I like the Versace, but it's this is good stuff. And it's so inexpensive. This is a 200 milliliter bottle. I'm pretty sure you can find this around 20 bucks. Either way, I'm gonna have it linked down below or you can check this out. Super easy to wear. This is going to get compliments as long as people can get near you and smell you. It is a little seductive for a fresh scent. That's Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas. Okay, up next here. This comes from the house of Amarud, a fragrance house I have talked about a couple times. I got this one, which is beautiful. They sent me another one recently, which is mind-blowing. But I'm going to save that because that is a fall fragrance. It is incredible. You'll have to wait for that. But this one we're talking about is a popular scent, but not the most popular from its collection, the White Woods collection. And this is called White Hinoki. It comes again in the white bottle. I also have Lunar Vetiver and Wet Stone, which are both great fragrances as well. But this one, this is quite a, uh, a unisex fragrance. Anyone could wear this. Some people say it leans feminine. I think anyone could pull this off. Oh, it's... Uh, it is this authentic woody smell. Now, Hinoki wood is not something I'm super familiar with. I can't say this nuance of the woodiness is very dry. I don't know my woods all that well, but it's definitely a dry woody smell, but it has this like almost sweet, cottony feel. It has a brightness to it. There's some spices in here. There's some pepper, there's ginger. You got a nice, beautiful, uh, like blood orange note in here. There's heliotrope, which adds this almost vanilla kind of creamy almond floral nature to it. And it does have an interesting base of uh, whiskey and tobacco and that hinoki wood. Oh, 
There's some cinnamon in here too. This is really nice. Not something I would wear in the highest heat. It does have a thickness to it. It is quite woody, but it's sweet. It's fresh. It's spicy. It is again, kind of cottony and almost vanilla in a way. And it, this is like elegant summer stuff. You gotta check this one out. I have a code. I'm not certain that it's still active. I think it's Stay Fresh 20. That's gonna get you 20% off. Um, and I get nothing from that. That's just a gift to you. So check out Amarud at the link down below. Check out White Hinoki. This is beautiful stuff. If you like these kinds of videos, you wanna help me continue to do this and be autonomous in my content creation and not have to worry about working at a warehouse and breaking all my appendages, <laughs> then you can go support me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your support. Please consider joining the Fresh Fam. There's a lot of really cool perks that come with it. Just yesterday we did a little exclusive live stream hangout. We do those on a monthly basis. I release content there you will not see here. So I really need your help. I want to keep doing this. I love to do this. So please visit the link. You can find a, a tier that works for you. And hopefully we can continue our exchange over there in the Fresh Fam. Okay, moving right along at number two from the House of Burberry. And this comes from the Mr. Burberry line. This is a beautiful one for the summertime. Easy to overlook. It's not super special, but it's really nice if you love mint. We're talking about Mr. Burberry Indigo. Perfumed by Francis Kirk John, world-class perfumer. He knows what he's doing. Oh, it's like authentic green herbaceous mint leaves. It's so fresh, it's so fresh. It's almost painfully fresh. And it dries to this woody, almost semi-aquatic feel. I've said in the past, this does remind me a little bit of Aqua de Jo, the original, as it dries down. But it's so nice. It's such an authentic mint fragrance and something you don't really expect in a designer bottle. It's nice, really, really nice. So that's Mr. Burberry Indigo. I highly recommend this. Kind of a hidden gem for the summer. Don't sleep on it. At least try to sample it, get you a little decan or something. Okay, last one up. This is from the House of Authenticity Perfumes. They, they've been surprising me lately. They sent me a few of their offerings. I've talked about their flagship, Authenticity, which is a great scent. Great fresh fragrance, awesome performance, and this one follows suit here. This is 50% fragrance oils, which is mind-blowing. <laughs> 50%, just so you know, once you hit like 25%, that's like extra to parfum. That's like what we call like pure perfume. But this is 50%. This is called Lome Riche, okay? And this is kind of a barbershop style scent, but this is not their bonafide barbershop. They do have an actual barbershop scent. What this reminds me of, just to make it quick, this is like Armani Code. This has Armani Code vibes. It has a, a subtle spice to it. It is pretty bright with some citruses. It has a nice fresh aromatic nature from lavender and it is sweet and kind of creamy and it is a beast. 50% is no joke. Now, it's not gonna project like crazy. 50% means it's kind of a heavier scent. You have a lot of heft to the molecules here, a lot of oils, but it's gonna leave a beautiful trail and it's going to last at least 12 hours on the skin. And to make it even better, I'm pretty sure you can pick up this 50 milliliter, this is 60 mil, 60 milliliter bottle for less than 40 bucks. That's all I'm saying, 40 bucks for a beast mode, beautiful kind of barbershop style Armani Code-esque fragrance, very fresh, creamy, sweet, aromatic, very inviting. This is a compliment getter for sure. I will have a link down below for Authenticity Perfumes if you wanna check this one out. Any of their offerings, I have a few more I'll be discussing later on, but. This is good stuff, Lone Reach. Now I wanna know if there's any summer fragrances in your collection that you consider hidden gems. Fragrances that you don't see anyone talk about on the Facebook forums, on Instagram, here on YouTube. Let's reveal to each other in the comments what we like to wear that other people may not know about. Let's get some new stuff on everyone's radar. If you like the video, please like the video, really appreciate it. And once again, if you have not subscribed, then please Hit that subscribe button if you've made it this far. I assume you like at least a little bit of what you've seen. 
So why not stick around, hit the button, and I will love to see you next time I drop a video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.